Hi, my name is Dan Rafus. I'm a co-author of this poster, along with Maria Gutierrez, Noel Schaeffler, Christian Kaufman, Agustina Masigoshe, Mariela Gonzalez, and Maria Clara Alvarez. The title of this poster is Bone Modification Pattern Produced by the South American Carnivore Lesser Grison. This study is part of an actualistic taphonomic project designed to characterize the bone modification patterns produced by native South American carnivores. In this poster, we present the results of the bone modifications produced by a captive Lesser Grison and the excavation of a burrow system occupied by this carnivore. We have been conducting similar studies with both large and small sized carnivores from this region, including the Jeffrey's cat, the pompous fox, and the puma. The lesser grison is a species of mustelid from eastern South America. They weigh around 1.5 kilos. They can be classified as semi fossil and occupy hollow trees, crevices, boulder piles, and burrows of other animals. The feeding experiment was performed at a local zoo with one lesser grison, which was individually fed 10 guinea pigs. We analyzed all the non-ingested remains and a sample from the scats. For the naturalistic observations, we excavated 12 burrows occupied by the grison. Results from the experimental study show how both the non-ingested and scats assemblages are highly fragmented. Many specimens were identifiable in the non-ingested sample, but the mean relative abundance is still low in both samples. Almost half of the non-ingested bones contain carnivore marks, which corresponded to mostly pits and crenulated edges. Very few tooth marks were identified in the scats, but 98% of the specimens did have evidence of digestion. When comparing the relative abundance of the assemblages, we see some notable differences, particularly in the maxilla and mandible. The long bones, which are absent in the scats, and the vertebrae and ribs, which are less abundant in the non-ingested sample. The burrows, which were being occupied by the lesser grison in the wild, were found at depths between 40 and 82 centimeters. The burrows were all interconnected and extend around one and a half meters from the bank of a river. 30 bone specimens were recovered, including European hare and mesomammals. 37% of the bone specimens exhibited carnivore marks. Preliminary results of this study indicate that this carnivore produces a high percentage of bone fragmentation, tooth marks, digestion, and contributes to the complex system of burrows, potentially affecting the certificacy and integrity of archaeological sites. The higher representation of the cranium and the mandible in the non-ingested sample suggests that the grison avoided ingesting this region, while the greater representation of the vertebrae and ribs in the scats indicate the complete consumption of anatomical portions of the carcass with fragile bones and high nutritional values. Thanks for checking out our poster. Goodbye.